and we will begin the reading of the scriptures. Wisdom of Solomon 5 verses 1 through 6. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. And they repenting and groaning for, for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in diversion and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh Most High? And his lot is among the saints. Therefore, we have erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness shall not shine unto us. And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Wisdom of Solomon 12, verses 16 through 17. For your power is the beginning of righteousness. And because you are the most high Yah of all, it makes you to be gracious to all. For when men will not believe that you, for when men will not believe that you are of a full power, you show your strength, and among them that know it make you their boldness manifest. Hallelujah. First Peter 3 15. But sanctify the most high Yah Al in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Proverbs 8.32 Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Psalms 119.49 Remember the word unto thy servant upon which thou hast caused me to hope. Psalms 119.55 I have remembered thy name, O Al, in the night and have kept thy law. Psalm 1611, thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy, and at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Ecclesiasticus 5, verses 7, 10, 7 and 10 through 12. Make no tearing to turn to the Most High Yah, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Most High Yah come forth, and in your security you shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Be steadfast in your understanding, and let your word be the same. Be swift to hear, and let your life be sincere, and with patience give answer. If you have understanding, answer your neighbor. If not, lay your hand upon your mouth. Second Ezra 8.1 and he shall, and he answered me, saying, The Most High has made his world for many, but the world to come for few. Hallelujah. Psalms 118, 26 through 29. Blessed Baruch be that he that come in the name of the Most High Yah. We have blessed you out of the house of Al. Yah is Al, which have shown us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even into the horns of the altar. Thou art my Yah, and I will praise thee. Thou art my Yah, and I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks unto his mercy. O oh, give thanks unto, for his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Deborah, Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 9. O oh, hear, O oh, Israel, Yahuwah our power. Yahuwah is one, and you shall love Yahuwah your power with all your heart and with all your being and with all your might. And these words which I am commanding you today shall be in your heart, and you shall impress them upon your children and shall speak of them when you sit in the house, in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. And you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontless between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Hallelujah. Philippians 4, 6 through 8. 
Do not worry at all, but in every matter, matter, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to Yahweh. And the peace of Yahweh, which surpasses all understanding, shall guard your hearts and minds through Messiah. For the rest, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is righteous, whatever is clean, whatever is lovely, what it, whatever is of a good report, if there is any uprightness, and if there is any praise, think on these. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. And this concludes the reading of the scriptures. Hallelujah.